So I had four college living experiences, my freshman college dorm, my first apartment, my second apartment, and now I'm in this temporary apartment in Berkeley at the Duran just for a little bit my senior year. So I feel like over the years, I've figured out what I really need at a college apartment, what I don't need, even at my temporary stay, what I'm reaching for, what I wish I brought. So that's what I'll be going over today and things to make your life a little easier. So don't forget to click subscribe, follow me on my social media, be part of the community, hit that big like button if you like this type of video, and let's get started let's get it started okay so we are in the kitchen and I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite kitchen supplies number one thing I am wishing I brought here is my air fry and I use my air fry literally everywhere and anytime whether it's breakfast lunch dinner frozen foods raw foods that is a thing I'm itching for I didn't bring it but it's just so easy and you can get so many under $50 at Costco or Amazon or you can get like a nice one but I highly recommend apartments college dorms air fry seriously life-changing you guys may have seen me use this in every single vlog of mine which is a whisk or a frother for my coffee latte matcha I just have this hand whisk right here that I brought from my home but I also have a full station one where I can do more milk or more coffee but I like this on my matcha my milk coffee tea anything you want to whip up this is really great I also saw on TikTok somebody use this to make whipped scrambled eggs which you could totally do, but these are super affordable and no more coffee spending, no more tea spending when you can make really great drinks at home. And I'm sure you could use this something for an alcoholic drink too. I just haven't figured it out. Okay, next we have cooking utensils and I've been loving using silicone utensils. We've been using these plastic waxy ones from our temporary apartment and they have been melting and burning off at the bottom of our pots and pans. That also could be a user error, but definitely not safe to consume. So the silicone ones are really nice because they're not stick and they're great for baking and cooking. I like these better than the ones that are um, wood and silicone because when it gets hot, the glue inside could kind of uh, melt and detach itself. So try to get the full silicone ones. They have a lot of really affordable ones and really great for you know cooking and baking and flipping your eggs. <laughs> so I actually don't have this on me right now because we're in our temporary apartment, but having a nice set of wine glasses can be really nice. Even if you don't drink wine, maybe it's for sparkling cider, but when you're having charcuterie nights or orange juice, or mimosas it's really nice to have a nice crystal set and even if you're just drinking orange juice in the morning or apple juice who doesn't love having a good little bougie clink moment with your friends so that's a really great way to elevate any meal that you have together another thing that's really important is getting a good cutting knife set the other day I literally cut myself because of a knife was a little dull and not that high quality they always say that the most dangerous thing is a dull knife which is 100% true because that way if it's dull then you're like pressing on it and the force and the weight and then it just like bad accidents happen so get a really nice cutting knife set and scissor set for cooking purposes I highly recommend that please do not cut off your fingers I realize especially with cooking a lot and baking a lot I love the presentation of the food is so so important so I notice that dark dishes always make your food look super appetizing and aesthetic even if you put minimal effort in also white plain dishes again you can go to Ikea or Target they have really affordable ones so but you can get some good sets I'm sure Crate and Barrel and much nicer places okay another thing I love to do is getting a few pairs of nice solid cute mugs you can use for coffee matcha Maybe you're making a brownie or cake in a mug. I have these really cute ceramic ones I think my mom got it for me at Costco, but it says the future is a female I've used it in some of my vlogs, you know, we're elevating ourselves now So this one is actually something we did at our last apartment But we did it right before the pandemic hit so we didn't get to really use it to its full extent But using clear bins in our fridges was really nice because we can organize things I only live with one other girl, but our fridge would get so packed so easily So I'm sure if you're living with more people it gets more packed. But I love these clear bins you can get at the container store, Amazon, Ikea, Daiso, wherever you want to get clear bins. They're just acrylic ones. The clear ones are just better because they're clear so you can see what food you have to finish and eat. I love that for the fridge and also for the freezer if you can also do the same thing. Maybe get different uh, materials so you can make little levels and we have like a little wire rack to organize it but still the fridge can get so disorganized and messy so whatever helps you keep all those organized as possible. I 
also like to use these reusable Ziploc bags that are great for like smoothies and fruits and vegetables, especially if you know that you regularly use the same type of stuff to go into the freezer. That's really nice as well. In the bedroom, I guess some of these things could be really anywhere, but definitely get yourself a nice vacuum. The smaller, the slimmer, the better. I know some people like those hand vacuums, but to be honest, the floor can get really dirty and dusty, so just get a normal size vacuum so you can vacuum your kitchen, your bedroom, your living room, especially the bathroom, especially if you have long hair and a lot of hair. We have hair all over the place, so definitely invest in a good vacuum. You can buy these used or secondhand from a lot of college students since a lot of them only stay here for like a few years and they have to sell and go away anyways. So definitely take that to your advantage. Facebook pages, free and for sale pages, college group chats, all that stuff. So this next one I think is truly game changing and especially if you get cold easily and you want to save some money on not running the heater, invest in a heat mat and also a heat pad. I actually have two different kinds. I have a full bed size one, which is really great when you're super cold. And then I also have a smaller one that's great for your feet or your stomach and you can just have a smaller version of it. I feel like these things save me a lot in energy bill because sometimes running a heater and especially in a cold area, your bill can get so expensive. I'm not lying to you. Sometimes my roommate and I, we would rack up like $90 in heater bills in a month, which is not good at all. So these are great alternatives you can do as well. So I'm going to link some of my favorite ones below, but trust me, if you're going to take anything away from this video, I highly recommend getting a heat mat or a heat pad. Sometimes it can get pretty, pretty hot and actually Bay Area apartments don't have air conditioners. I would also check in your city or the college city you're going to. Some of those cold places don't have AC. So invest in a small fan, whether it's a tabletop, a small room fan. It can really save you for those heat waves and when it gets really, really hot, especially at night. When it gets hot and you're high up, you're like laying on top of your bed trying to cool down. So definitely invest in a small fan if you can. So these next things are pretty self-explanatory, which is getting thin hangers. These are pretty cheap ones from Daiso. I'm only here for a little bit, but I love the Velcro thin ones you can find at like Amazon or Costco or Target. That way it's not going to slip off your clothes and they're so thin you can fit so many different types of clothing in there. And I also know they have like those layering ones where you can stack multiple. So again, these are all these hacks and ways that you can utilize your small closet space, especially for a lot of college students. They're probably sharing a closet anyways. So I love that as well. So another thing I had at my last two college apartments and also at my freshman dorm were these space cubes. I love these because they just fit a whole bunch of stuff, especially if you don't need to have it organized all the time. Just like throw all your stuff in there, whether it's socks, food, or instant food, or whatever it is. These space cubes are just, you know, cubes, and you can put it under your bed, in your closet, on top of your refrigerator, whatever it is. And it's such a great way to save space when you have a little space. While we are literally on the bed right now, another thing I feel like is super crucial is getting a long iPhone or phone charger. How many times have you been breaking your back trying to keep your phone charged where you're looking at your phone because low key you need to see a screen and you're addicted to social media? But either way, it's just more convenient if you have a longer cord. So get like a six foot iPhone charger cord or whatever your phone you have. That way it's just much easier for you to like set your alarm, put the phone next to you. Although I do think it's not best to have your phone next to you. I know 99% of us, we're gonna have our phone next to us. So you can do that and also even have a little bedside caddy, which I absolutely love as well. So these beds are actually not too bad at all, but I know sometimes if you want even more space, people love getting bed risers. They're little, I guess, heels or platforms for the corners of your bed. So it actually goes up a little bit. That way you can put more things under your bed, whether it's storage, or clothes or whatever it is. So that's a really great way to make space as well is just elevate your bed a little bit more. So for electronics, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and sweet. Power strips is a must, so you can get a lot of them and you're not gonna get the shortages. And it's great to have all of them all in one place. I also love extension cords. Again, not every outlet is gonna be where you need it to be. So having that around the house, multiple is great for laptops, your power strips and your other things. I also think having an HDMI cord is really great. That way, whether you are getting a monitor or you're projecting, which leads me to my next point, which is getting a mini projector, especially if you don't have a TV. This apartment is really great that it furnished with a TV, but most college students will not have an apartment with a nice TV already included and you might have to go buy one or a monitor. It's really great if you can get a projector. That way you can just plug in your laptop or your phone and stream a movie on a blank wall or what like, or what my roommate and I love to do is project the movie on our ceiling as we're watching in bed in our two beds um, separately together. <laughs> Last but not least in the electronics category, if you don't want to invest in a nice speaker, or those are kind of expensive. Another great alternative
alternative is to get an Amazon Alexa or a Google Home. This way, it's still a speaker, but you can invest in whether it's telling you the weather or alarm and other things and have some other uses as well. So having a smart home device could be a great way instead of just getting a speaker. So when it comes to school, doing work, being productive, I feel like your desk and your chair mean a lot. So if you have a desk in your room, that's great. If you don't, maybe you guys have like a communal area to do work. I highly recommend getting a high desk. This way you can still, you know, eat and do your everyday things, but really great for your posture when you're doing work. Like this is a high desk right now and I love it because I could stand and do work and it's way more affordable than getting a standing desk. However, if you do have some extra change, I do recommend getting a standing desk for your room. It's so great for your posture and you'll be more incentivized to do work and be more productive throughout your day. So I also like working in different colored lamp lights. I know that sounds really weird, but same thing with your phone, how you have night shift. There are lamps that have different LED colors for yellow to blue. So this way when it's really late at night or really early in the morning, you can still have the light be a little warm or even cool. Whatever is gonna make your eye studying screen experience most enjoyable. I just find that sometimes the white bright light could be really harsh. So get a lamp that has the different shades is really, really important. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is getting some sort of affordable couch. I know that sounds contradictory, but try looking at Facebook marketplaces or people you know to sell slightly used versions. We're in this super nice L-shaped couch. I love how big and comfy it is and it's movable and light so you can rearrange it so you guys can make a bed or all that stuff. Also futons and sofa couches are also great. So we love a good couch moment and it just makes the living experience in the living room or the living area so much more enjoyable. Another thing, you don't need to get it but it is nice to have and you can get a lot of really great prices for used ones from people you know or on Facebook Marketplace, but that is a coffee table. We have one right here that came with the apartment because it was fully furnished, but every time we bought one, it was been hand-me-downs for multiple, multiple people that we probably don't even know. And it's just nice to have like snacks on there and drinks. Place your foot up when you are watching a movie. <laughs> okay, another great thing is candles, essential oil diffusers. Sometimes the house can get a little musty. Other times, maybe you want to set the mood, the ambiance with different aromas. I love lavender, eucalyptus and also smell of jasmine. So I love candles and essential oil diffusers, a great way to enhance your living experience. And it's so subtle, but very important. So we actually don't have one here, but at our old apartment and the apartment before that, we had a little key rings we had by the door. So when we come in, we can just hang our keys. This way you are not searching the house again and again. Where are my keys? I used to have a, what is it called? A tile and I would ring my keys all the time, but that can get still pretty annoying. So if you just hang your keys on your spot, it's really great and it's right at your door so you're not gonna go missing for it or looking for it and it's just convenient. So next is house slippers. I know not everybody doesn't wear their shoes indoors. I don't wear shoes indoors but we also like to have house slippers because they're just so much more comfortable and cozy. So I know people who wear their shoes inside still like to get a pair of nice cozy slippers so they're super affordable. You can get them a variety of places and you can go bougie and get the really nice trendy Ugg ones but they have them at Target or Amazon or Ikea and all the stuff. I don't think Ikea has it actually but you can get yourself some house slippers. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. That's why there's an echo, but there's not too many things I recommend. First, having some kind of shelf organizer. Thankfully, this place has built-in wall organizers with the mirror, but if you want to get some on Amazon or Ikea, but you can definitely get your own organizers if you don't have them already. And if you want to get like a rolling cart, a lot of people like to have something in between their toilet and also their sink where they can put multiple things in there, like their skincare and brushes and all that stuff. So definitely recommend that as well. I also highly recommend getting some kind of D deodorizer, whether it's like oils or fragrances. We have this deodorant beads we just got from Daiso and they smell really good and like lavender, but I'm sure there's a better way to keep your bathroom nice and fresh. So that way it's always nice. Or you can even burn some candles in here. Okay, this is more for the bathtub or the bath shower area, but make sure you get a hair stopper, especially if a lot of people in your house have long hair. Hair can clog up that drain and it can get really gross and you already know what's gonna happen. So get a hair stopper so you can just grab the hair every time you're done showering, I highly recommend it. It's super affordable to get and it's such a small thing that's gonna make your life so much easier and better, I promise. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna link everything down below so you can find them and also similar items. And if you like this type of video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment below what must-haves you think are necessary or things that you don't think are necessary. And I will see you all in the next video.